What's going on? Welcome to Fearless Friday. Check this out. I want to talk about the topic that's so common to us here at Fearless, uh, to the coaches at least. Guys are constantly asking us this question, and I feel like it's one of the most important topics to cover, so why not put it into a Fearless Friday challenge so that you guys can learn how to get more comfortable with this particular topic. And that topic is, what do I say? Now, what do I say? Guys are constantly wanting to know what to say because they think that there's some magical line out there that'll work for all women. And the truth is that that's not true, completely not true, right? You can say the most simple mundane thing and have a girl's interest if the energy is right. Again, we always talk about women and how their creatures are feeling and men are more based on physical tension. That's our nature, right? So let's talk about that. Since women are creatures of feeling, they have to be able to feel outside of them to know if something is safe, to know if someone's being honest with them, to know if someone is being clear in their intentions or not being clear in their intentions, are they being misleading? Things like that, right? This is, this is, these are survival taxes. They have to have that in order to feel safe. So when it comes to men, especially women can tell when a guy is bullshitting women can tell when a guy's lying women can tell when a guy is very inconcurrent with what he's feeling they can tell when his intentions are not very clear and that's what guys are doing when they're constantly asking us what do i say it's not a magical line that's going to work you can literally say anything if your energy is right let's talk about energy and getting it right now your energy is what makes the world of a difference. Or you can say it like this, you're being this, who are you being in that particular moment, right? Are you being a guy who's fearful of being straightforward, blunt and direct and congruent with what he's feeling on a body level, emotional level, right, visceral level? Or are you being a guy who's okay with feeling all of his emotions and showing up even in his full sexuality and sharing how sexy he thinks a woman is to her? Right. And that's the difference. The guy who's more comfortable feeling his sexuality, who's more comfortable feeling his turn on is the guy who's going to get the girl. And it doesn't matter what he says. It's just the fact that he's very congruent with what he says. Right. So I want you guys to learn how to become more congruent with what you're feeling. And the way I want to do that is I want to pose a challenge to you guys. And the challenge is this. Go out this weekend and I want you guys to approach five girls a day for three days straight. So that's 15 girls in three days if you feel like you can do that. Now, if you need to lower the tension for yourselves, do two girls a day for three days straight. And what I want you to practice on first is noticing the first thing that comes to mind when you see a girl that you're attracted to. What's the first thing that comes to mind? Is that she's sexy, she's beautiful. You love how she looks in those jeans. You love her in those heels. What is it, right? And notice how quickly your mind wants to shut that down and find something else to say that's not congruent with that. Okay, maybe it's something like, hey, I just came to say hi, or hey, how's your day going? Um, something that's totally incongruent with your intention and just notice it. Second thing I want you to do is start to look at the thing that you actually want to say and notice how it makes you feel to actually walk up to that girl and say it. Even if you don't walk up to her and say it, just notice how in your body that makes you feel. Does it terrify you to go over there and say that she looks sexy in those jeans? Does it terrify you to go over there and say she looks sexy in those yoga pants? Feel that in your body. And I want you to learn how to release on it or just sit with it uh, long enough till it starts to feel like it's attainable or starts to feel like it's very easy to do. So just look at it. Look at the fear of it. Feel it. Welcome it until it becomes a lot lower on the tension scale. Maybe it starts off as a 10 on the tension scale until it starts to come down to a five and then maybe a three or a two until you can really get yourself over there and do it. Now this may take a little bit of time, but if you stick with it, you'll start to realize that it's not as bad as we make it out to be in our heads. So the third thing I want you to do is I want you to get over there and I want you to say that thing, right? So again, if it's sex, that she's sexy in those jeans, I want you to get over there and express that. If it's just that she's beautiful and you've never given a girl a compliment about her physical attributes, then go over there and say that, right? If it's that she's got a cute smile or that you, you enjoy her smile or that you like the way her hair is done that day, go over there and express that. But I only want you to, exp to express what's congruent in your body, right? 
because that's what's going to exude confidence when you get over there and talk to her. That's what's going to exude masculinity is that you're showing up and what you're feeling and you're sharing and that's vulnerability in a lot of ways. Okay. So go over there and do that. Let us know how that went for you. Let us know how the woman responded to that, right? The feedback that you get from a woman will tell you where you are in your security in that. You know, if you're getting rejected harshly because of it, it's probably because you haven't accepted that that's what you're feeling. You have some shame around it and you have some fear around it. And when you deliver it, you're kind of pulled back at your energy. You're not fully showing up confidently with it. Okay. If you are starting to open up and really enjoy it and you're feeling it turn on you and you're dropping the shame around it, you'll notice it has a greater, it has a greater effect on the woman that she'll actually pop in her energy, smile, maybe blush even, or tell you, thank you so much. I appreciate that. And then that conversation can go places, but I just want you to practice on getting over there and saying what's congruent for you. Okay. So let us know in the comments how that went for you. And like always, guys, journal this stuff, right? Journal this stuff so that you have stuff to look back on and be like, oh man, I cannot believe I did that stuff. That's crazy. And this, these are the responses that I got. It's not bad to actually walk over there and speak my truth. Women actually love it, okay? So put in the comments below how that went for you, journal it, and let us know what you wanna see in future videos and if this is even helping you at all, okay guys? And remember, only the confident truly live.